Good morning. In this video, we are going to be talking about shallowing. Shallowing is exactly trail elbow move. We have already discussed trail elbow move. If you can click on the video before everything else, you should be instructing your brain as to your intentions. Briefly, simply, and exactly in a way that your brain should understand what you're intending to do. If you start telling your brain details and numbers and distances and angles of God swing mechanics, then you get your brain confused as to your intentions. That angle you should get your elbow up and that distance you move your right knee to the right, to the left. This sort of information, one after another, can only confuse your brain and your brain cannot help you, cannot support you in your swing. What you should be doing, telling your brain brief, simple stories of your intentions so that your brain, your conscious brain, your logical brain can instruct your muscles and your nervous system along with your intended shot and help you. This is a must and you should be doing this. If you get your brain understood as to your intentions, that means you will end up understanding your own intentions clearly and perfectly. In Shalabin, this story has been invented by great golf instructor Chris Hudson. I thank him for all the information. Grab two alignment sticks, make a vertical angle, 90 degrees angle. The right edge of the 90 degree angle and the left edge of the 90 degrees angle. Simple story is this. At the end of the back swimming, your chest should be facing right edge of the angle. At the end of impact, should be facing left edge of the angle. Now your brain understood what you intend to do. Now your muscles, your nervous system will be instructed by your conscious mind, conscious brain, logical brain accordingly. Without you trying to do anything, you will be facing at the end of the back swimming this edge and at the end of impact this edge. Give it a try, you will see the difference. You get your setup to move five to seven degrees rotation of your right side. You take this position. You are facing the right angle. At the end of the impact, you will be facing the left angle. This, 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 this. Now the difficulty is the transition from this position to this position. This transition is only possible through the perfect or proper hip rotation. While you are facing the right edge of the 90 degrees angle, then you are on your right side, on your trail side. From here on, this move. You will be doing this move, this move. Movement, move one. Impact, move two. And the through swing, move three. Move two and three happen in fraction of seconds. You can hardly logically do that. You will be doing automatically with the help of your muscles and your, your nervous system. So this is the quick, unconscious kind of move in the impact position. This one, this one, you transfer from two to three. You cannot manage to perform properly this movement with the swimming mechanics. You will try to learn to move, not the mechanics, not the numbers, not the angles, not the inches. All pressure on your right side, and then, and then you are grabbing the ground. You are not grabbing the ground, and in a fraction of a second, you are facing the left edge of the 90 degrees angle. 
simple story you will be telling to your brain and you will see it's not difficult. Provided that you keep yourself from the pitfalls of everyday golf swing tips. Most of the tips get you out of your normal productive line of learning. At this point, let me give you something which I find very important. This shallowing or trailer bomb are almost the same in Peter Kevin and Van Hogan. In essence, they are the same. They are very minute details. Forget about those things. They are the same. You keep hearing different things in golf instructions about Van Hogan and Peter Kevin. What is right about Van Hogan and Peter Kevin, they are telling almost, in essence, the same story. Get your proper setup, and number one, you are facing the right angle of the 90 degrees angle. This is. One, two, three. Look. Watch US Open champion Matt Fitzpatrick swing. This is the whole thing. One, two, three. Develop your fields and develop your simple stories for you to instruct your brain. Tip number one. Once you turn your face to the right edge of the 90 degrees angle, at this position, at the end of the back swing, more than 8% of your pressure on the right side. I mean, this if at the end of the back swing you transfer some of your weight before the down swing, then you'll get stuck. Second tip is at the end of the back swing, you don't want your hands and arms pulling down club in front of you. Don't get your hands and arms separated from your body. Some of the instructors advising this move you may find this move easier to understand and to execute, to apply. But you sacrifice a lot of if you pull your club, getting separated from your body. You destroy your potential. You will end up producing in terms of distance and power and accuracy less and less below your potential. You coming down coming down with your body. Don't get your arms and hands separated until the impact. You come down to impact with your arms connected to your body. Hope you will find it useful. See you in the next videos.